So now that we have the first four chords, the initial four chords of the Lusian cadence, namely first minor, flat seven, flat six, and fifth seven flat nine, the first thing we would say is that this can be replaced. So Paco enlarged this in the Lusian cadence by also using substitutes of these first three chords. So for the first minor, the substitute is a flat third major major seven. Therefore, we write here C major because we have what is the flat third of A? We count A B C three. So therefore, C major. Triangle means major major seven. Then the substitute for the flat seven is the fifth minor. Therefore, we count five from A, A B C D E. So we have an E minor chord. Then we have the substitute of the flat 6, which of course we have to count 4 from A minor, this is a tonic, we count A, B, C, D, so we have a D minor. And the 5th, 7, flat 9, this has no substitutes. This one is unreplaceable. It's, as we said before, the most important chord. The flat third, the fifth minor, the fourth minor, and the fifth seven flat nine. It means that we can replace any of these upper chords with one of these. For the first three chords, it works this way. So then we, we have the upper line, sound like this. Upper line, basic chords sound like this. And if I replace those for the for their substitutes, that's why it's written below, then it sounds like this. Very similar, right? So we could also just substitute one of them. In fact, in, in most of the compositions you find one or two maybe of these uses. It doesn't mean that you have to use everything, but th there is the possibility. So you can choose in composition, you choose what to do. And here you have three more options. So now, instead of four chords, all of a sudden we have seven, including these three here. So therefore, suppose if I just mod uh, will substitute the flat seven for the fifth minor, then it will sound like this. Right? Or we could also, of course, use the four minor. This one, first time in history was in 1976. Track one of the album Almoima that he started with the use of the four minor, in that case was with the key, well, the real key, that thing was a minor, the four minor then, because that was playing Abuneria, which has the four minor, that was the first time that this chord was used in flamenco.
the first time that it was used that. 1976, this is the history of the evolution of this music and how Paco reinvented it from a thing which was only consisting of four chords. Before Paco, there were only four. And with all this extension of the Andalusian Caves became a large family. Well, then, so we have seven chords here, and it's worth to notice that. I wrote a bracket six here, which means Dorian, Dorian hint. And for the first minor there is a Aeolian hint, flat six, because Paco did not use a Dorian mode for this, or a major six for the first minor, or uh, an Aeolian flat six for the for minor. So it means when we play this chords, Compose a melody with it, either vocal or instru instrumental. If we have to use a, a, a flat C, a sixth tone for the first, then. Aesthetic, aesthetic aspect, and of course, now we're going a bit further, but I just wanted to mention it because it's not just D minor, it's which D minor. That's why this Andalusian cadence is a mystery <laughs> which we are now explaining clearly. I didn't mention this in other videos, but not so clear as in one page. Oh, well, of course, here there are 20, there are other 20 at least, but first we need to get this very clear, which is what Paco could recall any time in any key that he used. He had a very great idea of how to play over the chords and also which chords were in every position and playing this line of what we use in the Taranta, Minera, Por Medio, Por Arriba, on that thing. So, uh, then therefore, here we have three chords more which can be used to replace this. And it can be one, for instance, if I play the normal one with the upper line of chords, we have. Right? Now, if I substitute this with something like this. Six for the four minor, right? Or, or all three of them. Right? Then here we have another thing which should be mentioned that this this chord. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados, puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando 